Hello all, welcome back to my channel. I know most of you are very excited to learn about R and Python. But some of you, like one of my subscribers with whom I was chatting yesterday, was having a problem in installing Anaconda and because of which he was struggling to get going with the other tutorials. So if you are also having the similar problem, so let me share my screen and take you through those other options. There is a website called Kaggle.com, which is the best website as far as data science is concerned. It's a very good website where you can test your coding skills in quite a few programming languages, which are specifically for data science. All right. So once you type Kaggle kernel on your search engine, you just have to go to Kaggle.com and the kernels. So once you go to this particular link, you have this option here plus new notebook. So once you click on this new notebook, a notebook gets displayed on your screen. And here you have an option of selecting the language. So you can go to this drop down and either select R or Python. So if you select R, all that you need to do is whatever is displayed here, delete them and just type something which is related to R. So if you type library lubridate and the way we execute it is by clicking on this execute cell. Once you execute the cell, it will display the output here. And then once you can click on code, and the next cell gets displayed for you to code. So just for testing purpose, let us assign a variable A equal to 2018-1225. So this is a year, month, day. So once I use YMD and inside the parenthesis, if I pass A and click on the shift plus enter button here, it gives me a proper date format. So this is how the R kernel works on the Kaggle website. I shall share the link with you so that you can start using it if you are still not able to get started because of the installation problems that you're facing. And then we also can code in Python. If you select Python here, let me delete these cells. Now, if we just type import pandas as pd and once it gets executed, the cell number also gets displayed here. Variable which is 2018-1225. Now let's see if pd.2 underscore date time of A is correctly displaying as a date format. So once you click that, it gives us the date. So this is how Python also can be used here. All right, I hope this was useful for you. So this was one such help that uh, we have using the Kaggle kernel in case we are struggling to install the required applications for executing R and Python codes. We also have another option with Google Colab. We have this link. Once you go to this link, Google Colab, here again, we have this option of selecting a new notebook and here we can do the necessary coding just like we did in the Kaggle kernel. The only drawback here is as far as R is concerned, you will also have to type a few magic commands. Only after that you can execute the R code here. But as far as Python is concerned, you can just type any Python related command and it would work perfectly fine. But if you want to execute R as well on Google Colab, I would suggest you go through one of these links. Once again, go to Google search and type online R programming and collab. So once you click on this, you will get to this particular website, how to use R in Google Colab in this website called Towards Data Science. So once you click on that link, Aditya Verman has beautifully explained how to use R on Google Colab. So if you scroll down, it says you have to run a magic R magic by executing this command. So if I just type this particular line, and execute it over here and click on the shift plus enter button or just click on this particular icon here. All right, once this is executed, after that, every time you want to use R, add a percentage percentage R in the beginning of each cell. So if you just type percentage percentage R and then you type your R command here, library L-U-B-R-I-D-A-T-E, lubridate, and then if you just click on the shift plus enter button, it just works as a normal R studio here. So attaching package. And now if you have another variable here, which is 2018-1225, and then you try to convert this using year, month, date of the lubricated package. And inside the parenthesis, if you just pass T and click on shift plus enter, or just click on this icon here, it will get executed. I'm sorry, I have to once again pass the percentage percentage R 
in the very beginning of each of the cell if I want to execute the R commands here. And now if I click on Shift plus Enter, this gets correctly executed. So these are the other two options that we have for executing R and Python online, the Kaggle kernel and Google Colab. The Kaggle kernel and Google Colab work more or less in a similar way as we have the Jupyter Notebook. So in case you are not able to install Anaconda and R Studio on your laptop, please use one of these options so that your learning does not get affected. All right, I hope you found this information useful. If you have any doubts, suggestions, feedback, please do post them in the comment section. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.